There's an influx of digital SLRs coming on the market recently, and one of those is the Pentax K200D announced earlier this year. Hi, I'm Matt Grayson for eFotoZ.tv, and today I'll be looking at this entry-level model. The K200D is the upgrade to the popular K100D Super. It's got 10 million pixel CCD, which has been taken from the K10D. Now that has replaced the 6 million pixel CCD of the K100D, and even though um, most people wanted them to stay low resolution, it was put higher resolution. Just below the lens here, you've got your manual focus and autofocus switch. You've got a raw access button there. On the top, you've got your standard mode dial with your auto modes, program aperture, shutter priority modes and manual, and also some preset modes as well as access to the other scene modes that are available on the camera. On the back of this camera, you've got your 2.7 inch LCD screen, your viewfinder just above it. You've got the flash up button there to activate it. That will automatically pop the flash up for you. You've got your menu, your delete button, information and playback buttons down the side there. The menu will obviously access all the core options for the camera. The delete button will delete any images that you've taken previously once you're in playback, which is at the bottom. The info button will adjust the amount of information that you've got on the screen. Uh, when you're actually taking a picture, it'll show things like histograms, it'll show the date and time that the, camera was the picture was taken, all the things like that. On the other side here, you've got your thumb wheel for adjusting the shutter speed and apertures uh, going through different options and also when you're in playback it can be used for zooming in onto the images so you can see if they're sharp. Now the K200D also integrates the dust alert feature of the K20D if you've seen the review of that. The dust alert feature will actually show you where dust is on the sensor. It takes a scan reading of the sensor, shows you on the back of the screen and then saves it in a, in a folder called dust allowing you to then keep a track of what you've done. If you see any dust on the sensor which will come up as black marks on the white background you can then decide to shake the sensor and get rid of it uh, which is a fantastic feature. You can also benefit from the rubber weatherproof seals, meaning that camera will be able to take much more abuse than its other entry-level counterparts. Now, if you look at the full written review on ephotozine.com, you'll see that I took a variety of images in different scenarios. It is, after all, an entry-level digital SLR, so it's got to be able to be used in a variety of situations so that you can find your niche. We're now going to go out. To